I'm not going anywhere. Neither fighters like me. For every big name you hear out there, there are hundreds that are trying to make their shot, trying to make their name, trying to be a world champion. Me, I'm just going to try and continue to have fun. That's why the first one's January 22nd, XFO 38. Come check it out. I remember one of the first fights I was ever in in life. It's crazy, man. It was like a, I remember it was like a wrestling match almost. And the fact that I just let everything flow. And I was just boom, launching this dude, dropping him on his head. Just beat the bedang out of him, right? This is made for me. Randy Couture kind of showed the way. I always wanted to be a boxer. This way I could go in with my wrestling, training all of their life. And to go into MMA was just, it was perfect. My biggest moment, my greatest victory in the sport of MMA was uh, definitely winning the, the world title. And it wasn't because I won the world title, but it's what it signified. Goodbye to the demons in my closet. It gave my family something to cheer about. But winning that world title was really the way of, okay, Jens Pulver is now gonna mean something else. What I love about Supremacy is it shows the backwards. The only MMA games out there right now is everybody's just trying to mimic the real fighters. Right, that's what TV's for, you know what I mean? But what about the other 100,000? Where are their careers? Because they only show, you know, the big ones. And that's, again, what I love about Supremacy is it brings out the road and it focuses more on the road of what it takes for someone to get there rather than somebody who's already there, simulated, copy them up, and I'm in the game. The funny version is I'm so old that they're making me, I get to be the drunken grandmaster sensei in the back and I get to coach everybody and tell them, ah, you know, I go to, no. My biggest thing is I get to be a, a spokesperson. I get to be behind a game that, again, focuses on the other side of MMA. I've always pioneered little guys, lightweights, things that haven't been there. And what I like about this game is I get to again help pioneer something that's based on and thrown about the road to glory. Photo shoot was real good. You just sit there and just spin in circles and get it done. But if that's the, the least I can do for these guys, which like I said, I look at the product and what they're doing and how hard it's gotta be, you know, I'm fascinated. When it comes to being gaming and a gamer, I, it's something I've always loved. And to have this opportunity to me is incredible. You know what, coming around Kung Fu Factory, one, I love the name. I walk in there, I see the logo, I dig it, you know what I mean? They're not so worried about here is this entire arsenal of things that you can do if you hit these three buttons together and wiggle this pink one, you'll do this move or, you know, it's like, look, here's your basic setup, get good at it. You can tap each other, if you don't block, your leg's gonna, it's gonna purple up and you gotta, you're gonna be able to snap it. I love the fact that these guys here at Kung Fu really tried to grasp all of those details they're trying to grab a style all its own we're not trying to be you know mimic all the fighters we want all these different storylines because again we don't know who the next world champion is we don't know who the next next guys are so that's why i like that these guys are setting out to start those storylines now hey they call me little evil james pulver i'm in the game supremacy if you don't like it come find me We'll see if we can't talk about it.